in downtown Pittsburgh off I-79 or SwiftlyBMW.com. It's a three-time award-winning comedy hit, My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm in therapy at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. Come, enjoy yourself. Relax for a change. My boy's gonna make everybody laugh. If they can make you laugh, they'll make anybody laugh. We just film and call it hysterically funny, My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm in therapy at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. Who are you talking to? You're gonna love the show. When planning your retirement, who will genuinely care about you and your family? We will. At Fergasso, our model has no conflicts of interest and no proprietary products. Trust your financial security to Fergasso. Investment advice offered through Fergasso Financial Advisors, a registered investment advisor. Now it's time for a look at KQV Sports. The Orioles can pull to within one game of clinching the American League East. When they open a home series against Toronto tonight, Baltimore's magic number for clinching the division is down to three. And Washington is in position to clinch the National League East title in Atlanta. When it opens a series against the second place Braves tonight, the Nationals' magic number is four games. And the Pirates have maintained their one and a half game lead for the National League's second wild card. Uh, they beat the Cubs yesterday, and boy, what a game it was uh, going down in the history books for the Pirates. Josh Harrison started Pittsburgh's first triple play at home in 21 years and hit a tying two-run double in a six-run fifth inning. Pirates rallying to beat the Cubs 7-3. The Pirates resting today. The Red Sox are in town for three games starting tomorrow. Charlie Martin will be starting on the mound in the opener for the Pirates. We have Monday Night Football featuring Philadelphia at Indianapolis. Kickoff is 8.30 tonight. Panthers coach Ron Rivera says he isn't sure if Greg Hardy will play Sunday night against the Steelers and that the team hasn't considered releasing the pro ball defensive end who is involved in a domestic violence case. Meanwhile, the NFL is taking some new steps today to address domestic violence after several well-publicized cases. We get more from ABC's Aaron Katursky. The NFL has appointed a vice president of social responsibility to address domestic violence, sexual assault, and what the league calls matters of respect. It has also hired three outside advisors, including a former sex crimes prosecutor, to help decide discipline. Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a memo obtained by ABC News, our goal is to make a real difference on these and other issues. Goodell has faced calls for his resignation over his handling of abuse cases involving Ray Rice, Greg Hardy, and Adrian Peterson, who the Vikings say is expected to play this Sunday. Aaron Katursky, ABC News, New York. And now this Bloomberg Business of Sports report brought to you by PNC Financial Services Group. This is the Bloomberg Business of Sports Report. I'm Scott Soshnick. The New York Mets are being sued by a former employee. The team's former head of ticket sales says she was fired last month after insults and humiliation were directed at her by the owner's son, Jeff Wilpon. Lee Castor Jean in the lawsuit says Wilpon didn't approve of her having a child without being married. Wilpon, son of owner Fred Wilpon, is the team's chief operating officer. Castor Jean's suit seeks unspecified damages. The lawsuit said the team recognized and rewarded Castor Jean after she was hired in 2010 as vice president of ticket sales.